Hello, and welcome to Creating with Mrs. C. Today we are going to draw Owlet. In the middle of your paper, let's make a teeny tiny letter V. On either side of that V, we'll make it a little longer, but notice how it curves, kind of like half of a rainbow. Good job. Now, at either side, we'll curve up just like that. Underneath that line, we'll make one curved line, two, and three. A curved line and a little bump, and another little bump. Between those two bumps, let's make a letter U, or half of a circle from one to the other. Good job. Right under that V, let's make a curved line and a smile way down at the bottom of Owlette's face. We are going to connect those two lines with kind of a rainbow shape. Good job. Under that, another curved line and a smile. You can even add a little curved line at the end, like I did. On either side of my finger, I put a little dot. This is so I can have one eye with a curved line going up towards the top of the head on either side of the nose and another curved line underneath. Your eyes don't have to look just like this. It's okay if they don't. On the ends of these lines, I made another curved line. I'm retracing the top of that eye and filling in the corner. Look how the line goes a little bit further. And then I color that in for eyelashes. Under the eye line, I made a circle and a little circle inside. You could even leave a little bit of a white circle in the eye if you want. At the top of Alette's head, we'll make a rainbow from one side to the other, just like that. And now it is time for Owlette's body. On either side of the chin, we'll make a line and another line. At the end of that line, a curved, it's almost like a squished letter C, and underneath a little letter U. Under the chin, we're going to come back a diagonal down, good job. And for the body, a backward C and another backward C. For the legs, you can make your legs however you want. I like to come over and down to make a bent leg. And this foot will just be a diagonal down, a line down, back towards the middle. And as you're coming up, let's stop before we get the whole way to the top. Let's draw back to the middle and a diagonal down and we'll bend that leg <laughs> just a little bit. Draw the line down, bend it out a little bit and let's make that foot. It could be any shape that you want. I drew a line down and back around kind of like an oval. You can retrace that line on the bottom of this foot. You can make a line. Good job. For wings, I start right where that thumb was and I continue that line out. A curved line down, almost like half of a circle. And I just make a zigzag the whole way back to the body. Zigzag like letter V's the whole way back. Good job. I bet yours looks awesome. So now it's time for coloring. How will you color your outlet? You could use crayon or marker. I'm going to retrace all those lines that you made before, only this time on the inside of the wing. So everything you did, we'll draw a line right here on that edge of the wing, and then all those zigzags 
You can just copy again. I used a pink color. You could use a crayon or colored pencil. I added a little bit of pink to the top of Alette's mask. And if you want, you could draw something on the belly too. That's up to you. You could choose to draw something on the belly. I made sort of a heart shape at the bottom. And then I drew a curved line down, a rainbow in the middle and a line on top. Something very simple to create an outlet shape. I also colored my picture. You could use marker, crayons again, colored the face and some eyes with some brown and pink. And the rest of the picture is red. I colored all of this red. If you want, you could add some dark lines in certain spots of Owlette to create some shadows. Or you could just color everything in as neatly as you can with red and a little bit of shadow on the bottom. You have your own Owlette.